There are some things in life that happen because we have planned for them to happen. Then there are things that cannot be dismissed as any random event. Maybe it's a coincidence, or maybe there's a bigger meaning behind them. For whatever reason, these events can have an impact on us, for the better or for the worse. Today we are listing some amazing coincidences that will make you believe in fate. Samuel Clemens, most famously known as Mark Twain, was born just after Halley's Comet appeared in 1835. It reappeared in 1910, and just one day after its appearance, Mark Twain met his end. In 1909, he said, I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It is coming again next year, and I expect to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I don't go out with Halley's Comet. We came in together, we must go out together. In 2001, Laura Buxton stood in her front yard with a red balloon with the note that read, please return to Laura Buxton, along with her address. She then released it as a strong gust of wind carried it away, roughly 140 miles south, before descending and landing in front of another family's house. Coincidentally, the balloon had landed in the yard of another Laura Buxton. After getting in touch, the girls discovered that they had more similarities than just their names. For instance, they looked extremely similar, wore similar clothing, and both had three-year-old chocolate labs, a gray rabbit, and a guinea pig. When they finally met in person, they both brought their guinea pig, which was completely unplanned. A couple strolling down the beach found a bottle containing wedding vows, which were written on the same day that they wed. In 2007, a Wisconsin couple named Melody and Matt were married. One week later, they put their wedding vows with their names and address in a bottle and threw it into Lake Michigan. Exactly one month later, another couple, Lynette and Fred, were walking along the beach in Michigan when they came across a bottle in the sand. When they opened it and found the vows, they also found that their marriage dates matched. Solar eclipses happen because the sun is about 400 times wider than the moon, but also 400 times farther away, making the two appear the same size. Solar eclipses are one of the most remarkable phenomenons in our solar system. The phenomenon occurs when the moon gets between Earth and the sun, and the moon casts a shadow over Earth. This causes an eclipse of the sun, or solar eclipse. The phenomenon also takes place because of something unusual. Though the sun and moon are very different sizes, the sun is about 400 times wider than the moon, but also 400 times farther away, making the two appear to be the same size. If the sun were any bigger, or if the moon was slightly further away, then we would likely never see a solar eclipse. A woman named Esther wrote her name on a dollar bill and said to herself that she would marry the man that brought it back to her. Coincidences do happen, since Esther's future husband discovered the bill, framed it, and gifted it to her. A man named Paul was working in a Chicago suburb and started seeing a woman named Esther. Even though they hadn't been seeing each other for long, Paul felt a strong connection with Esther and decided to ask her to make their relationship exclusive. One day, he left work for lunch and went to the local deli to buy a sandwich, where he discovered that he had a $1 bill with the name Esther written on it. How strange, he thought. Paul framed the bill and the next time he saw her, he asked if she would be his girlfriend and handed her the note. They got engaged, married, and a couple of years later, while unpacking in a new apartment, they stumbled upon that frame. Esther explained that years earlier, she had written her name on the dollar and said to herself at that time that she would marry the man that brought it back to her. She didn't tell him back when he first found it since she thought bringing up marriage so soon in the relationship would scare him off. Now they've been married for over 18 years and the couple say that the frame sits on top of their dresser.